Yes, so it is a common misconception that prolotherapy is more effective than PRP when treating uh, neck instability, ligament instability, or any ligament issues uh, in general. While we don't have any really good head-to-head studies directly comparing the effects of prolotherapy with dextrose to platelet-rich plasma, clinical experience among so many providers has shown us that PRP works better and you don't require as many treatments compared to dextrose prolotherapy. And so in our clinic, that is the main reason that we are going to use PRP over dextrose prolotherapy when we have upper neck instability, we have ligament issues, anything like that. I think a big part here to understand is that the platelets that are found in PRP contain thousands of different growth factors and all of them, well, we don't know for sure all of them, but a lot of them are going to contribute to a positive healing response. They all have unique effects. When we use dextrose in the prolotherapy fashion, we're really just getting an irritant solution into the area which causes the fibroblast to make a little bit more collagen, but in my opinion, it is nowhere near as effective as using platelet-rich plasma.